right, so what we're gonna do today is go over a fall Chinook cure that I use here in Oregon. And uh, we got these eggs today fishing, and it's a pretty good mess. We got, I think, one coho skein and the rest are Chinook. But the curing process is pretty simple. I think it starts with a good egg, and we have a good egg. Um, I have one here that I still got to finish up on. You got a little bloodline here. I cut all my egg skeins in half. They're like that, so I, I cut them in half. That way they're manageable. And then I'm going to take my little knife, and I'm just going to get the bulk of this blood out like that. You see how I'm using the knife to kind of get that bloodline out, and then I'll kind of clean it up. And then... I like to butterfly them a little bit, open them up. Not all, they don't always need it, but this one kind of does. So then we're set. And so we have all the eggs ready to go. Try to get most of that blood. I don't want anything that's going to rot during the process or when they're sitting for a while. So I'm going to use fire cure. It's our salmon cure. It's got a little sulfide in it and the colors are pretty good. Now I'm going to mix two together, the red and then the orange. And the reason I put the orange in there is it kind of adds a, element of pop to it. Um, the color holds really well and then uh, so that gives us a good starting cure and then we'll go and do uh, the fire power here krill. I always add krill. These do come with a krill but we add more so kind of show you the process. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to the bag. Um, like in a lot of our videos in the past I'm going to have to stand up here and do it. I'm doing a big batch so I'm actually using a two gallon bag and then I'll, after it's the curing process is done, I'll separate this in uh, glass jars. But I'm gonna take the red and put a little bit on the bottom and then the orange a little bit on the bottom. And it kinda, you can kinda see what we get going down in that bag. It's all mixed up. It really looks good when the whole process is done. Then I'm gonna lay, lay some in there a little, the orange is really strong, so I go really light with that. There we go. And I don't think you can use too much of this. I have never really had an issue with overdoing the baits, but you can see I'm just sprinkling a little bit. And then this process takes a lot because we're doing a big, big batch. Actually, I probably add a couple at a time. So, again. A little sprinkle, a little sprinkle. And then this one here, because we're adding krill, I'm going to add a good dose of krill to it. And then more bait. It's a lot of eggs. These will turn into back bouncing and bobber eggs. And what makes these good back bouncing eggs is how tight the berries are on the skein. Look at that. These will be, these will hold up really nice and they'll cure really well too. We just gotta get a light coating because after I tumble it a little bit, we'll um, hit it again. So we got all the krill and all the red and the orange in it. The reason I add the orange, I think it gives it a good UV pop. Like it's still a red egg, but it just has this glow to it that I'm a big fan of. The uh, color seems to last well fishing. They don't wash out and um, it's worked for me, but I like the color. It's kind of a, it's not as deep a red and it's just got this UV pop. So we got them all covered pretty equally in this bag and it is a big bag. So I'm gonna leave some air in the bag again, right? And then we're gonna tumble these over and get all that product through all the folds in the egg, all right? And just do a couple of these. And then we're gonna go back and add a little bit here and there that we need. But we can see that bag's already starting to get wet from the product already working on the egg. All right. That's good, I'm gonna open it up. You can see that color. It's just, man, these are going to catch some fish. Already know. I'm going to add a little orange on this one. All right. I'm going to go ahead and seal it up again. Now, this pro these eggs could fish tomorrow. 
that's the neat thing about using the pod skis is that letting it do run its course these things could fish if you were hard up for eggs and needed to get it going i like to uh you know let them soak for a good 20 12 hour period in the brine and it's cured so this is what we have they're pretty coated you can look i'm gonna stick my hand in here and pull some out just to show look at how the product has gotten through all of it, and you see my hands. But yeah, that, this is all, the more I tumble, it's just going to get through there. You can kind of get in there and see that. It's already pretty good. So the, the eggs are starting to look really good. And this has only been about five minutes. Lots of fluid in the bag. And you can see how much it's already drawn out. The color is more like a crimson right now. It's a little bit different than the, this darker red color, which is awesome and then the orange, but the orange adds a different element to it. And the reason I do it is I fish around a lot of good fishing guides. We all have really good bait. I don't think a lot of guys are using an orange cure to their red cure. And it's just something that has a different look. And you know, the fire cure is good. We got all the, the proper stuff you want in there to catch salmon. But as you saw, I'm adding some more stimulants. I'm adding powdered krill. We use this for everything. You see it in all in the, my tuna stuff. I use this a lot and uh, it's very versatile, but salmon love it, we know. So I always add a little bit in my cure. I've actually added a lot in this cure because it's a big, big cure. So it gives me confidence, but krill never hurts. And it's something that I think can give your bait just a little advantage over the guy next to you because like I said, it's competitive out there. And this bait for me is going to be something that I could fish that I know at the very minimum is a good start to a cure. You know, from these, a lot of times we can add certain things, but with this cure, adding the krill and having the sulfites and the fire cure, I don't have to do a lot of it with it. And it's an easy cure. This took me 10 minutes today to get a cure that's gonna catch me quite a few salmon. There's a couple pounds of eggs right here, so. And I didn't use a lot of product. If you see that with this, I only used a little bit. So the product goes a long way and I can get a lot of curing done out of it. So you see the eggs, how much they've already pulled the moisture out in just about 10 or 15 minutes. Um, it's gonna get even more, that fluid line will get right above these eggs. And what'll happen over the next 12 hours is that those eggs will absorb the fluid right back in. And that's where our eggs get the durability the bite stimulants and all the stuff that we want in our egg. Now, a couple questions is what if there's extra fluid? Well, if you have extra fluid in the bag, you can offload some of it. The other thing is, is that if you want a more durable egg sometimes, like these are ideal sized eggs, but if you get a fish that the eggs are too big, like bigger buried eggs, like a fish that's later in the year and you want to cure them up, you can pour some of this fluid out and they won't absorb all the fluid and they'll make the berry a little more durable. Kotsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.